Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're looking at the official handbook of the Marvel Universe issue 15. This is the last issue of the series. So I will be doing the DC Who's Who next. <clears throat> this is what was $1. This is the book of weapons, hardware, and paraphernalia. Um, Marvel originally did a 12 issue series and then that sold so well that they, they dragged it on with two books of the dead and inactive and then uh, another book of, of hardware and weapons. This was drawn by John Byrne, you can see. And let's see if I could uh, name everybody. This is Machine Man. We got Captain America, Mockingbird, the Ringmaster, Ant Man. There's, there's Moon Knight over there, Cyclops, Wolverine, Rom, the Wizard, oh, Stilt Man, uh, Doctor Doom, Doctor Octopus, Nomad, Black Widow, Iron Man, Fantastic Four. Hobgoblin, Doctor Strange, Wonder Man, Quasar, the Sentinels, Falcon, Doctor Spectrum, the Wrecker, Hawkeye, Nick Fury, the Mandarin, and I think that's everybody. Yeah, John Byrne, Joe Rubenstein. Oh, wow, John Rub Joe Rubenstein inked the comic that I showcased yesterday, the X Factor number one, or at least he did the cover. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, see if there's any, oh, it doesn't have a, Wow, it doesn't have everybody's, uh, who drew it. Oh, well. And then the Indicia, 1984. Ant-Man's helmet. Now, uh, this, this I liked a lot. I, you know, I don't, I don't, I just like the fake schematics of it. I guess, I guess I was more technical as a kid, but, but, uh, I don't really care. They could have just said Ant-Man's helmet does this, but this is kind of cool. I don't know. Black, Black Clash's whip. He's not on the cover. I just realized. This, I guess this is going to be quicker because they don't really have the stories. Black Widow sting, uh, string line. The Book of the Vashanti. Yeah, that was just in the Doctor Strange movie. Captain America's motorcycle. That, that's exciting, huh? Captain America's shield. And they explain how it worked, which you don't need to do that. It just works. Magical science. Cerebro. The ex, you know, Charles Xavier's mutant finding uh, machine. Cyclops' visor. Who cares? The Dark Hold, you know, that was a big deal in the in the Doctor Strange and then the Agents of Shield TV show. Deathlock's gun. Do you do you need a schematic? It's a laser gun. It's a laser gun. Deathlock's bionic system. Right. Cool. Doctor Doom's armor. Do you, you know, it's it's just super cool, super powerful arm. Doctor Octopus's arms. <coughs> to me, this was just a money grab. You know. Dr. Spectrum's power prism. D don't explain it. It just works. I, 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 I know Dr. Strange's amulet. You can, you can explain magic now. It's magic. That's the point of magic is that magic's unexplainable. Dragon Finley, Dragon Fang. That's Valkyrie's sword. The evil eye. I, I'm surprised this hasn't shown up with Dr. Strange yet. Falcon's wings. This is how they work. Fantastic Four signal device. It's a flare gun. <laughs> it's a flare gun, guys. Hawkeye Sky Cycle. This kind of got memory hold, huh? Did anybody read uh, Marvel currently? This, the, Cy the Cyclops. Does, does Hawkeye still fly around on this thing? I mean, this was like part of his power set for a while, if you ask me. Like, he, he was synonymous with, with this thing. It's cool. And his quiver and bows. This I did like that they showed that the the arrows had different uh, notches on them so he could figure out which arrow he was grabbing. Because I remember that was like a debate with my friends. In, in the uh, Marvel spotlight, was was he actually shooting people with arrows and killing them, or you know, or did he know what he was doing? But a uh, hobgoblin's bat glider, Iron Man's briefcase, holds his armor. That's all we need. Iron Man's armor. <laughs> okay, it just it just works. Iron Man's helmet, claws, blaster. I I love claw. He's so bad. He's great. Look at that. That's claw. I showcased uh, Fantastic Four with Claw and the Molecule Man. That was the very first Fantastic Four comic I've ever gotten. Not the first comic I ever got. The first first comic I can remember reading. Uh, I, you know what? I should showcase that. I I, I bought I re I rebought it because it was totally destroyed. Mandarin's rings. These are the man. Uh, the Mandarin is if you saw the Shang Chi movie. The Ten Rings. This is the villain that he's based on. He had these rings, one on each finger, and each one had a different power. Each one was a different shape, and each one had, like, one finger was a force field, one finger was fire, one finger was ice. They vastly changed it in the TV show, in the TV show, in the movie. Uh, I I did a, a video about 
shang chi watch that i think that's one of my important videos let me know what you think about that mockingbirds battle staves uh moon knight's crescents i i liked how they showed that they put like different material wed uh different weight metal inside of it to keep it balanced i thought that was pretty cool moon knight's truncheon nomad stun discs same thing he you know put little things so it would spin better odin spear gunnagur magic spear you don't need to know it the orb of agmato that's dr strange they don't show that in the movies but he has this orb that opens up and it makes like a, a map of the earth and then lights up or darks up on on where he needs to go it, the MacGuffin machine paladin's gun the psycho man's control box i love the psycho man he's a he's from the microverse and he comes and gets big and he fights the fantastic four and he controls emotions fear doubt hate he pushes buttons and makes people experience emotions quasar's wristbands the ringmaster's hat i love that he could design this and build this you know go, go sell the idea go work for the cia <laughs> rom's armor rom's analyzer rom's neutralizer it doesn't kill you it just rips your bodies to shred leaves smoking ash but you you are alive in limbo <laughs> it's just i guess hasbro didn't want uh their, their product or Mattel, I think it was. Mattel didn't want their product associated with, with murder. <laughs> Can you blame them? The Sentinels. Shield guns. The Silver Surfer surfboard. Spider-Man's belt camera. Did, does he still have that? You know, he, he's not really working for the Daily Bugle anymore in the comics. Uh, let me know, guys. Did, does this still show up? The ultimate nullifier. And just to show you, I bought a... a 3d printed one plastic i just bought a, a resin 3d printer and i will be reprinting it on my own and making it better because it, it just it just feels grainy and you can see the lines i think i want to do it better so there, you, there we go i'll make a better ultimate nullifier the stilt man's battle suit the wizard's helmet power gloves and anti-gravity did i don't know why i love the wizard I just think he's a cool bad guy. <laughs> I, I, I like him. Um, I don't know. If I was to write comics, I would definitely have the, the wizard as one of the one of the villains. Wolverine skeleton. Wonder Man's jet belt. Okay, so this is before it had its. At, at one point, it, it became powered by his own uh, I, ionic energy. That's what his body is made of ionic energy. So, but at this point, it's it's it was powered by its by normal mundane fuel sources. The Wrecker's crowbar, and there you go. Explanation of adamantium, explanation of uh, vibranium, Avengers ID card, and a Shield ID card. And you better believe that I photocopied these as a kid and made up my own ID cards. I got to see if I can find them anywhere. But there you go. <laughs> the Marvel official handbook of the Marvel Universe book of weapons hardware and paraphernalia so that finishes up this this series this was a lot of fun i, I kind of did it on a whim and uh it, it seemed to be my most popular my, my my channel grew so much when i when i did this i think everybody felt nostalgic for it and or or they wanted to see it for the first time i don't know tell me why you like it but that this was the first time i started noticing my channel growing and it was the first time i started seeing actual like good numbers of views rather than like six views a video so it, for those of you who are new who who I'm going to do the DC Who's Who, and I hope you like that just as well. And please, go back and check out some of my old videos. I, I know, like, the first six or seven videos, the audio was terrible. But I don't want to delete them, because I think that, uh, you know, that deleting history is, is, is not a good thing. But I'm rambling. But thanks a lot, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow with another video.